Hello and welcome to Hilton High School's Academic Planning Night. Uh, this presentation here is meant to be viewed in correlation to the Academic Planning Night that is occurring on Monday, December 7th, 2020. My name is Jeffrey Green. I have the amazing privilege of serving as the principal at Hilton High School. And joining me today for this presentation is Mrs. Ashley Foster, one of our school counselors. Hi, welcome everyone. Okay. So for tonight's agenda, um, myself and Mrs. Foster are going to talk a little bit about, about the program of studies and course selection, uh, the counseling and post-secondary planning processes here at the high school, a little bit about acceleration at Hilton High School and our IB diploma program, but also reference ways for you to get more information about that as well. And then also referencing the ability to, on December 7th in the evening, live Zoom with all of our different departments for our academic planning night. So here we have is a, is a description of how to earn a high school diploma in New York State, uh, Regents Diploma versus a Regents with Advanced Designation Diploma. We strive at Hilton for the Regents with Advanced Designation. Um, it is really not that much more difficult. Uh, the biggest difference would be as far as the uh, foreign language credit and because we as a school district being an IB district require foreign language through at least the sophomore year but encourage it beyond that, it makes it very achievable. And so English, social studies, and phys ed is something that is required every single year in high school. That's why you get four credits for English, four for social studies, and then phys ed counts for a half a credit each year, even though it's taken over the course of the full year. Uh, math and science, you technically only need three, but if you are college bound, that is definitely something we encourage you to do um, all the way through your senior year. Uh, art and music is one uh, credit of your choice. Uh, health is a required graduation requirement for all students. And then, like I said already, our foreign language, uh, language other than English, is something that we encourage uh, to, can you to continue to take all four years. Uh, the bare minimum would be the one, but really at Hilton High School, the requirement as a district is three credits through the sophomore year. And then the number of electives remaining um, is either three and a half or one and a half, depending, but we have a, a bunch of different electives that are offered. And so most students go well beyond that. Again, the 22 credits is, is a, a bare minimum. We definitely strive to go well above and beyond that and the most of our students do. Um, in addition, uh, we are in a unique place right now where, as you know, the June Regents exams were canceled, as are the January exams this year. Um, the June of this coming, uh, the end of this school year, has not been canceled at this time. We don't know if that will occur. Uh, but as of now, the graduation requirements, um, in addition to the credits, do include certain Regents exams. Uh, it's one in English language arts, one math, one science, one social studies, then one other math, science, or social studies. And then, as you can see, it's a little bit more regions exams for the advanced designation, but all very achievable um, as long as you continue with your coursework. So that's why we, we strive for the reasons with advanced designation. The course selection process, um, it's starting in eighth grade. You know, this is, this is part of that process right now, participating in academic planning night. Uh, the course selection seats are distributed and then students make their selection via infinite campus. Um, in grades nine, 10 and 11, we have a course advisement day that has already occurred where teachers uh, provide recommendations to students and those selections are made. And then what's very important to know is that in all grades eight through 12 is that counselors are meeting one on one with every single student. Uh, later on in the springtime, there's a chance to review uh, the selections that are made through the parent uh, portal in uh, Infinite Campus, just in case there are requested changes prior to the end of the school year. Uh, I previously mentioned that we do have a lot of electives that we offer. We have electives in business, technology, music, and art, and computer programming, um, as well as some electives within our core areas. We have our International Baccalaureate Program, which is extremely uh, prestigious and rigorous program. The middle years program goes up through grade 10, and that's for all students. That culminates in the MYP, middle years program personal project, which you can view a pre-recorded video from Mr. Kudzillo, our MYP coordinator. Uh, to learn a little bit more about that. And then we also have the diploma program, which is uh, something that you can opt into uh, pursuing in grades 11 and 12. And there's a pre recorded presentation from Mr. Ackroyd, our diploma program coordinator. Uh, but would note that all students that are juniors take uh, IB English as well as IB social studies. We have advanced placement course offerings. There's a pre recorded video by Mr. Hansen. Um, that is targeted towards 809 students because uh, AP World History is a common AP course for accelerated students to take entering ninth grade. 
We have the career and technical education endorsement in pre-engineering, as well as the project lead the way engineering sequence. You'll be able to learn more about that from Ms. Foster, as well as with the live Zoom sessions on Monday, December 7th that are available. We also have our Romoco and New Visions program that has students uh, leaving the high school for part of the school day. And of course, dual credit offerings as well. Um, I did speak briefly about International Baccalaureate. Again, I would just mention that it is a, a, a district-wide uh, program here starting in uh, um, kindergarten uh, as far as the primary years program, but for the high school aspect, it is the middle years program through grade 10, and then all students in, in uh, 11th grade English and Social Studies, and then you also have the opportunity to pursue an IB diploma in grades 11 and 12. It is a very rigorous program uh, that is very rewarding and gets students prepared for college. I spoke a little bit about the MYP personal project. That is something that I'd like to add is that it is actually a way to earn half of a credit. It is a required thing for students to do as part of being a Hilton Central student. Uh, it is done in 10th grade. There is ample support provided, but there is some work that is required independently. And again, it counts as a half an elective credit. We have many advanced placement offerings. You'll be able to view the presentation by Mr. Hansen about world history, but just know that we do have many of them in many other areas as well uh, that also help prepare students for college. And at this point, I'm gonna turn it over to Mrs. Foster. Hi, so I'm gonna talk about some of our other um, programs, both within the building and without outside of the building um, for students as they progress through the high school here. The first is our CTE program, which stands for Career and Technical Education. This is an endorsement on top of either the Regents or the Regents with Advanced Designation Diplomas. Um, our CTE program is concentrated in pre-engineering. And what this means is it's a great springboard for students who are interested in engineering. Um, we offer a high quality program that really um, connects the coursework with the work experience. So students are taking courses that have articulation agreements with um, RIT or MCC, depending on the courses. Um, all of the courses are related in the pre-engineering field. And then it culminates in a project at the end that involves a national exam, a project or portfolio, and a demonstration. So for students who are thinking about um, pre-engineering or engineering in college, this is a great way, starting in freshman year, to start to, to write that path and to really understand what a degree in engineering is all about. Like the um, CTE and pre-engineering, we also offer a project lead the way sequence or a project lead the way program. Next slide, please. And what this is, is this is has a lot of overlap with the CTE, but the sequence is a little bit different. Um, all students within this program are required to take five courses. Um, you see the different courses that we offer on the screen within the Project Lead the Way program. For students who are interested in possibly pursuing this, we do encourage you to take DDP or Design and Drawing for Production within your freshman year in order to start on the path for that. Um, this is a partnership with RIT where there are a lot of credits that you could potentially earn through RIT, um, but you're really exploring different types of engineering. Like I said, it has a lot of overlap with CTE. So for our students who are contemplating engineering, you can do both. Um, and I would encourage you to, during the open time where you can Zoom with the different teachers, maybe jump in to meet with Mr. Randall and, and hear about what this program or these programs have to offer students. Now a little bit about outside of our building. We do pair or partner with the BOCI Center and Spencerport for our Wimoco programs. These are also um, career and technical education programs. They're offered to 11th and 12th graders as a way to explore different career and technical fields. They're transported to the Wimoco building for half a day, either morning or afternoon, depending on their program, and students do earn credits. So thinking back to what Dr. Green was talking about in that you need so many elective credits for graduation, Wimoco does fulfill those elective credits um, towards that 22 required credits. Within the program of studies, you can access the complete list of programs, but just to highlight a couple, we have baking and cosmetology, we have culinary arts, auto tech, um, auto body, welding, um, criminal justice, there's, I believe this year, 25 different programs. So I would encourage you to take a look at that program and see what might be offered junior and senior year for your students. For students who are contemplating um, contemplating applying to Lomoco, it's important that they realize that there is a, a field trip this year, a virtual field trip. 
for students in 10th grade in order to learn about it. Um, but also, if you're thinking about Wamoko might possibly be in your future, we highly recommend you get your art or music credit completed in your freshman year um, in order to free up those, those spaces in your schedule in order to participate in Wamoko in your junior and senior year. Outside of the traditional classes that we offer, there are a number of support services here at the high school. Um, we have welcome crew, so if anyone is coming from St. Paul or from any other um, non-district affiliated school, um, welcome crew is a great opportunity to feel more comfortable to begin to meet people and to um, really become a part of the Hilton High School community. Um, we also offer learning labs and tutorials, academic intervention support, um, 504 tutorial, and special education services. So what I like to tell students and parents is our support services are tailored to the individual student. We don't have a one size fits all. We make sure that the students have the supports that they need um, in order to help them be successful. So with this, anytime a conversation is, is need, necessary or needed, we encourage you to reach out to um, the school in order to begin those conversations. Within our high school counseling program, we do meet with students um, annually. Students are assigned a counselor based upon last name and that counselor follows them through their entire four years at the high school. We do focus on different conversations and different lessons within each grade level. Ninth grade is really about that transition to high school, making sure students feel comfortable and confident in that transition um, for completing high school um, level work. In 10th grade, we begin to talk about career. And I always tell students, it's kind of crazy to think that you're not even here in the high school yet and we're already looking towards careers and asking you what you wanna do after high school, but we're really just beginning that conversation and helping students to identify what some potential careers are. 11th grade, we continue that conversation about the career search, but we also bring in that college piece. Um, so that way students are aware of what is necessary if they decide to pursue college. And then 12th grade is really when we hammer down with the applications and the true career searching and career planning. Parents are welcome to connect with their counselor, uh, their student's counselor at any time. And uh, we encourage you to, so that way we are all working together as a team in order to support your child through their high school career. We work within three different areas. Um, the first of which in the high school counseling office being the um, academic counseling. An example of this is the course selection process. Um, thinking back to the graduation requirements Dr. Green talked about, we don't expect anyone to memorize those. Um, we don't expect students to know exactly where they are in their path. Uh, we like them to have an idea, but in the end, the counselors make sure we sit down with the student each and every year. We make sure that you're working towards graduation and you're working towards fulfilling the requirements that are necessary in order to earn your diploma after four years. Um, we also work in the career counseling realm. So if, if students are curious about different careers um, or military as well, we really um, welcome any of those conversations and help students with, with those different paths. We offer different tests available um, in order to help with that, including the PSAT, the SAT, ACT, and SAT subject tests. As incoming freshmen, these are nothing to stress about right now. I'll be honest, this is coming down the road, but I do wanna let you know those are part of our curriculum within the high school counseling offices program. We uh, have a lot of involvement with the college search process. So we implement a system called Naviance, which is kind of a one-stop shop for students to do financial aid searching, um, some scholarship maintenance, some college and career exploration. Uh, we also offer exposure to different college admissions representatives. So every year we have over a hundred colleges who will come to the high school. This year they came virtually through Zoom um, in order to meet with students who might be interested in their school. So this um, can start as soon as sophomore year for many of our students and just to understand what it takes to get to each school so that way they're making informed choices throughout their high school career. We also offer informational nights for parents, so college admission information night, financial aid night, um, in order to make sure parents are also on the same page and getting the resources that they need in order to help support their student. And then finally, we work in the personal or social counseling. So what this means is that um, Education is so much more than in the classroom. This is those extra pieces. So we're su supporting students as they need it in order to help them um, achieve academic success. And we help them manage emotions, develop interpersonal skills, communication skills, and executive functioning skills as necessary with each individual student. All right, thank you very much, Mrs. Foster. Um, so as I previously mentioned, um, you can access the program of studies by going to the high school website and the counseling uh, page. 
And you can also view presentations that were pre-recorded about um, acceleration using uh, advanced placement world history with Mr. Hansen, one of our teachers. You can also view presentations about the IB Diploma Program from Mr. Ackroyd, our IB Diploma Program Coordinator, and also about the MYP and the personal project from our MYP Coordinator, Mr. Kidzillo. Um, those are all pre-recorded. Now, what you can do live on Monday, December 7th, between 6 and 7.30 p.m. is go to our academic planning website, uh, which was shared out uh, in a variety of different means. And then you can go to different departments and live Zoom with uh, teachers from those departments so you can ask any types of questions you want. So I hope you take advantage of that opportunity. Uh, lastly, um, uh, I mentioned that Mr. Eckroyd has his diploma program website that you can access as well. And there's the advanced placement courses. And then also, I wanna make sure that you are staying connected as you transition to high school. If you're an eighth grade, go ninth grade family. There's lots of different ways to do that, uh, utilizing social media so that you can be in the know. So I encourage you, no matter what you use, whether it be Twitter, or Instagram, or Facebook, there are ways to stay connected with the high school um, so that we can work together on this journey together. Uh, so thank you very much and have a great evening. And please feel free to reach out to myself or anybody else if you ever have any questions about the academic planning process.